Hello, for your question on your heater control panel that's not working, I pulled up the wiring diagram. This is on a E39, which it would be anything after 9 of 98. And this is the power supply. So you pulled fuse 9, which is stopping the power going to uh, your blower motor. And this leg is probably good because your blower motor is running. Let me go to the connector which is this one right here so you could actually if you wanted to double check that would be pin one of that connector I just showed and it's a red violet and that's going to be yellow wire now you can check right at the heater control panel and with the key on you should see 12 volts at pin 1. This is the one that I'm concerned with though right here would be fuse 20 which is a green and yellow wire and that's also pin 1 but it's going to be a different connector. The connector, let's see. The connector is going to be 610. And 610 is this big connector right here. Now you'd press this tab and then slide this white lock over, which releases it. And on the back side, you're going to have two small little plastic tabs. And you lift up the plastic tab on each side using a pick, and you can slide out the entire housing to get access to the pins a little bit easier. Uh, or if you have a very small uh, pin tool, you can actually go into the pins. So that. For this connector, you're going to want to check pin 1 with the key on, and that's going to be checking power from fuse 20. And that should be supplying power here at pin 1. And that's really the main power supply for your heater control panel. Now I doubt you have a problem with the ground. This is the, the ground right here. So you could check pin 3 of 8, I said 18, 3, 4, 1. So let's see, 18, 3, 4, 1 is going to be still that same large connector that, the, that uh, pin 1 from fuse 9 feeds. So you could also check your ground at the same time, continuity to ground. And let's see if we can see where. That splices 219 for the main. Let's see. Two, you have a 2002, so as of 2000. So this is going to go to a splice behind the glove box, right in this location. And let's see. If I can find where the main ground is and that does feed a lot of things so if you had a bad ground you'd have problems with your lamp module your sunroof garage door opener general module so I doubt this is going to be a ground issue but just to rule it out this should be the main ground location uh, right hand side under the carpet yes you know what I've seen um, for vehicles, especially 5 Series, you can have a vapor barrier leak which fills this compartment right here with uh, water. So you have to be careful and make sure that you don't have any water leaks. I've seen a lot of corrosion on these uh, fuses right here. You have to take the seat out to take a look. Um, I think I have a video on it, but I haven't posted it yet. And uh, I doubt this is going to be it, but it wouldn't hurt to take a peek and make sure you don't have any corrosion here. Um, if you do have power at uh, pin 1 and your ground is good, you're pretty much proving out that your heater control panel is the main failure. Now it does sound like you're getting power through your heater control panel. It's doing something because this is a switched um, ground right here which is supplying power to the blower motor. Um, if you unplug your heater control unit, I'm going to assume that your blower motor is going to stop running. 
and uh, everything would point to a bad heater control unit. Now you can use a used control unit if you can find one online and you won't have to have it programmed. Otherwise, if you do get a new one, you could plug it in and just make sure that it stops um, running your blower with the key on. Um, but it might say NC, which is not coded, and you will have to get it coded. Hope this helps. Let me know what you find, and uh, looking forward to hearing back and uh, hearing that you got it corrected. Thanks for watching.